Nigga, I'm the man now. Earl Spence, so these niggas got a man down. See the braids in my head with my top down. Same ones that doubted me, got their hands out. Hope you understand now. Nigga, I'm the man now. Earl Spence, so these niggas got a man down. See the braids in my. What up, y'all? I'm back with some real shit, man. I've been watching things play out the last few days, and I just felt like I need to give my perspective on it because I seen a couple of things, you know what I'm saying, that I didn't agree with, so, you know, that's what you create content for, you know what I'm saying? You don't complain on other people's shit. You gotta make your own shit. So, as y'all come into the video, y'all smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. If you ain't subscribed already. And listen, y'all. George Cambosis beat the shit out of Tiafimo Lopez. Beat the boy ass. You know what I'm saying? As you see right down there. You know what I'm saying? Bloody the nigga face up. Exposed him. You know what I'm saying? Showed him he can't box. He ain't nothing but a power puncher. And, and, and you know, just, just did him bad, man. Exposed his dad. Some will say he was already exposed, but exposed his dad further and, and, and exposed Tio. Female, female. So look, now after that happened, right? It was talks immediately after the fight. Oh, is George Kimbosa going to fight Devin Haney? Oh, he's going to fight Devin Haney. Oh, is Devin Haney. Oh, Eddie Hearn got to secure the fight. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that about how Dev got to get the fight. And I agree, Devin Haney should be fighting George Kambosis next. I think so also, but the thing is, I just want to let niggas know this shit ain't going to happen. You know what I'm saying? Not only am I going to let people know that this shit ain't going to happen, I'm going to tell you why it ain't going to happen either. Listen, first of all, Javante Davis is, 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 is the king of this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, of the younger generation. He the leader of the new school. You know what I'm saying? Like like little baby said, he the, he the leader of the new school. The boy putting up all the numbers. Rather you want to talk about different venues in different cities or you want to talk about uh, putting asses in the seats at, at different venues. Um, Pay-per-view numbers. Uh, some people say 200K ain't shit, but guess what? I, last time I checked, 200K better than zero, 0K. Which one better? <laughs> Which one better, nigga? 200K or 0K. Do the math, man. So, Tank doing all the numbers and shit like that. And, uh, and he gonna get the, that's why he gonna get the George Cambosis fight because he in a better position. And he the biggest star. And in Devin Haney case, he should get the fight, but he ain't gonna get it because he in a bad position. You know what I'm saying? Some people will say, uh, oh, man, he in a good-ass position, man. He, he making some of the most money uh, these young fighters make it under Tank. You know what I'm saying? Besides Tank, he making a lot of money more than all the other guys, man. Fuck all that. Niggas keep talking about how they want to see the uh, best fight, the best and all this shit. And I've been watching Devin Haney's Scream about how he want to fight this person, this this person, or that person, and he ain't got the shit because he with a nigga named Eddie Hearn, who is a shit face, lying motherfucker, and everybody know he is. You know he he, he a good promoter, but he ain't a good promoter for uh fighters in the U.S., you know, or, or, or black fighters, I should say. Like, he ain't, he ain't, he can't really do shit for you because he ain't got the right ties and connections. And the thing is, niggas knew this shit before they even signed with the nigga. I don't understand. This is where I be confused at. I don't understand how a nigga can see everything go wrong with a company and still go fuck with them. And then get fucked at the end and be like, oh, nigga, and then get to complaining at the end and shit. That's like me being a fucking rap nigga. That's like me rapping and shit, right? And, and I see a whole bunch of niggas fucking around at Cash Money, getting robbed, complaining complaining about motherfucking royalties, and, 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 and niggas ain't seeing their streaming checks, and, 
you know, <laughs> all type of different shit, you hear me? I ain't making no money off my music and all this different type of shit. I'm watching niggas steady getting fucked before I even get in the, you know, before I discover that I'm a good ass rapper. Then next thing you know, I start booming, got my shit popping. I take my little dumb ass to go sign with cash money. Why the fuck would I do some shit like that when I done seen the million niggas complaining about they ain't getting their motherfucking money, man? Why the fuck would I do that? So, instead of me putting the blame otherwise, I take that blame and put that on the individual that did the shit in the first place. You know what I'm saying? This shit is all Devin Haney's fault. It's the reason why he won't even get the George Kim Bosa's fight. Because... The position he in, you know what I'm saying? The, the the person he signed with, you know what I'm saying? The same shit I said about the nigga Terrence Crawford when he's running around here with Bob Brown and shit, and nigga, I wanna fight, I wanna fight the best. See, you telling me something, but your actions is showing me something different, my boy. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can say this shit all oh, you, you can say a oh, whole, but I'm a real nigga, this, 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 but you you doing everything fake. You can say whatever the fuck you want to say out the motherfucking dick suckers. A nigga can say a thousand words, bro. That shit don't mean shit, nigga. If you ain't doing the shit. So, you saying, I heard these different fighters, right? Saying they want to fight this person, they want to fight the best, they want to do all this history making and shit. But then these niggas go behind the scenes and make some bullshit ass business decisions. Devin Haney went to go sign with Eddie Hearn. You know what I'm saying? Co-promotion, I don't give a fuck what it is, nigga. He still his promoter and he ain't getting him a fight. So for you smart motherfuckers in the back who likes, oh, he's with a co-promote. He's co-promotional. He's not signed all the way. Nigga, he get him the fucking fights and he ain't got him shit. How about that, nigga? <laughs> the fuck? Look, man. Devin Haney ain't getting shit because Eddie Hearn can't do shit for him, bro. He ain't got no power in the sport, bro. He, he can't do shit, bro. He can squiggle, squiggle and slime his little ass around and, and, and backstab motherfuckers and try to steal, uh, you know what I'm saying, purse bids and shit through, through his company's uh, budget and, you know, the zoning and who, however the fuck it go. All I'm saying is, Eddie Hearn can't do shit for Devin Haney. Devin Haney knew that shit. Them niggas still went to go sign with him because they knew them niggas had the bag and they was giving the shit out. It was so it was like open season. Let me go get the bag, sacrifice a little bit of time in my career. I go fuck around on the internet with these guys, build my profile in both ways over here, you know, on my side in with the UK side and you know get this paper and shit like that. Okay, niggas was successful at that. They got the paper now. Sign with the nigga. They were throwing paper and shit. Got the paper. But you ain't get no fights. So don't turn around, and this bitch, talking about niggas ducking you. Because I don't see no motherfucking duck. I see a nigga went to go sign with a nigga for some paper, and now he can't get the fight. That's what all it is. Simple as that. Same thing Bud did, nigga. Fat, right or wrong. Facts of fiction, nigga. Same thing Bud did. Man, Eddie Hearn ain't doing shit for no fighters, nigga. He ain't did shit for the uh, uh, Boo Boo, nigga. He ain't did shit for none of them guys because he came, bro. He ain't in a position to do the shit, bro. He just a big mouth motherfucker who do a lot of talking, man. Nigga, you a young nigga, bro. Devin Haney, young nigga. You know what I'm saying? You 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 seem like a cool guy. You know what I'm saying? You got your pops running around with you and shit. Y'all niggas look like y'all doing y'all thing, but at the end of the day, like nigga, we in the social media era, era nigga. And you younger than me. I'm a young nigga myself. You know what I'm saying? I'm, me and Tank probably like the same age, so I'm just as young as all these guys. So, uh, nigga, we grew up in this media shit, nigga. We ain't like the older motherfuckers. Like, we grew up in the social media shit. You telling me you need motherfucking Eddie Hearn to help you promote your... Nigga, fuck no, nigga. 
I seen your daddy, Bill Diddy, nigga, running around on different channels and shit, building y'all niggas profile. And did a hell of a job. I see it, nigga. So, what the fuck y'all niggas need Eddie Hearn for? Niggas want all the money. I understand. I get it. But don't come around this bitch hollering about how you couldn't get George Cambosis, nigga, when the time come in. And, and Lena Ellaby and them niggas lock, lock that shit in, nigga. And get the fight. Just know. I don't want to hear you, nigga. Oh, George Duck never he ain't need to fight. Tank for the money. Because <laughs> I know what you niggas going to do, man. I already know. I can smell it on you niggas, man. Don't do that fucking ass shit, man. Like I said, man, Devin Haney can't get the fight because of Eddie, man. It is what it is. He ain't going to get the shit. So you niggas better stop hoping and wishing right now, bro. Unless some kind of way Devin Haney come up and he got to get past JoJo, first of all, nigga. And JoJo a hell of a nigga because I seen him beat the shit out of him for him. So that ain't going to be no cookie walk. You know what I'm saying? No cake walk, no shit like that. So... He get hopefully he can get past Dojo, nigga. And if he do get past Dojo, if he can somehow manage to get the fuck away from Eddie and them and get with some some motherfucker that suit him a little better, then you know maybe he can get the fight. Until then, nigga, he ain't getting it, nigga. Case closed. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you ain't subscribed already. Now I'm out, child. Deuces.